Hey everybody and welcome to Out of Scope episode number 39, right? We're 39? Yep. Awesome. Ideas are cheap. Sports marketing expert Brian Cristiano. Brian Cristiano. Brian Cristiano. Marketers and advertisers and brands always have to keep in mind, you have to play to the state of your audience. Sports fans are arguably the most passionate people probably on the face of this planet. If you're not passionate, do something else. Ideas are cheap. There's a million of them, a billion of them, a trillion of them. Everybody has ideas all day long. I'm brought thousands of them, hundreds of them, daily, hourly, minute. I get emails full in my inbox of people trying to sell me ideas, information, things, thoughts they had, people coming to me that are friends. Oh, I had a really great idea for a, for a show, for an episode, for a marketing campaign, for a this, for a that, for whatever. Clients, everybody, everybody's got an idea, but you know what, ideas are freaking cheap they don't matter which is kind of crazy right people everybody's like well you have to have a good idea it has to be awesome well yeah you can't take some shitty idea and make something brilliant out of it but the idea isn't what matters the execution is what matters the action is what matters it's not about how many ideas you have it's about how much action you can take people that are super successful have the ability, the innate ability to take massive amounts of action every single day. And their action is aligned with what their ultimate goals are. That's how you get from point A to point Z and everywhere in between is by the amount of action that you can take. Now, if you have a great idea aligned with a lot of action, now you're set up for success. If you've had a shitty idea with a bunch of action, well, you're probably gonna fail anyway. So ideas, yeah, they have to be good, they have to be great, but that's not what makes success. That's not what makes a company. That's not what makes a brand. That's not what makes anything really. You know, I've got some, some old friends of mine that went to high school and they talk to me every once in a while and oh, they tell me about all these ideas of things that they're thinking about and you know, that they're gonna do this and they're gonna get a house and they're gonna buy this thing and they're gonna start this business and they've got a really great idea about how to start this mobile app. And, but guess what, they never take action. They don't, they never take action. And then they wonder why I'm growing a business and they're still sitting there on their ass in the same place that I left them t almost 20 years ago in high school. They didn't take any action. That's it, right? Um, I've had, I've seen some people go off and try to start some, you know, mobile apps and I've seen some people go off and try to start some websites and some, you know, startup type stuff um, that, yeah, the ideas were actually kind of decent. The idea, uh, the theory was good, but their actions sucked. They did the bare minimum, thought it would be easy, weren't willing to put in 20 hour days and bust their ass for a couple of years or more before even getting to the real next step. They weren't willing to do that. They weren't willing to put in the time. They weren't willing to put in the action. And guess what? They got shitty results. They got no results. They just lost a lot of time and a lot of money. And now they're frustrated. So that's what I say when I say that ideas are cheap because they are, there's a zillion ideas. Everybody's got them. I've got a million ideas and things I haven't executed on. And you know what? Until I do execute on them, they're worthless. Those ideas are totally worthless. Um, and, and I think this is a big thing that entrepreneurs and people that work in marketing always need to remember and keep in mind. You can have an awesome idea, a concept for business, a concept for a campaign, but if you can't execute it or you aren't willing to put in the time and the energy to execute it, then it's pointless, it's worthless. Zero, it's cheap, it's nothing, nada. So, you know, are, are you gonna put in the time, the effort, the energy to execute on whatever it is a good idea. And it doesn't have to be the most amazing idea. It just has to be clear. It has to have a measurable result. And you have to be able to put in the time and willing to put in the time to take as much action as humanly possible to make that idea a reality. And I go back to what I said a few episodes ago where I was talking about being passionate if that idea isn't passionate to you, if it isn't something that excites you to get up every morning, then you're not gonna put in all that action. So I've seen people that were just after the quick buck and went and started a website, and guess what? It was just to make money, so they weren't passionate about it, they didn't give a shit. 
and they weren't willing to put in the amount of energy, effort, and action it takes to actually execute. So guess what? It failed. It's unfortunate, you know, friends of mine, I like these people, but that's what happens. If you're not willing to actually work hard, if you're not willing to put it in, if you're not willing to put it on the line, if it's not something you're passionate about, the idea is worthless. So don't have worthless ideas. You can have ideas all day, that's great, you know, brainstorm, we're in a creative industry, thinking about cool stuff. But when you pick that idea, whether it's for your business or whether it's for a client, you have to take that idea and run with it and go full in, 2,000%. Move forward with it and take as much action consistently as fast as possible, as much as possible. Otherwise, it's never gonna turn into anything else. It's just an idea. Make sure to subscribe to the show. Josh, put the subscribe button up there this time. We're sticking that thing in there. Click on it, subscribe, share, um, and let me know what you think. Um, what haven't you taken action on that you wish you did? Was it a good idea, was it a bad idea? I don't know, I'm asking a question. I'm not trying to copy Gary Vee. I'm really not. I just figured I'd ask a question. Anyway, thank you so much. Stay tuned, and we'll see you soon at Out of Scope. Cool.